Hey everyone, it is Matt Grandy with Dyco Welding out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania back at you once again. I have a new product from Walter that I wanted to showcase to you guys and go over quick. I know we have show you guys the Walter Ice Cut Mini, but this is the Walter Ice Cut 250P. Um, this drill is great for pipe use it on regular or flat top workbench but as you can see it has these magnetic based rare earth magnets that are not electromagnet they are made by mag switch and they can pivot and contour pipe so you not only can you use them on your workbench but you can also use them on pipe the other cool thing is since they are a rare earth magnet and not an electromagnet they don't require any electricity. So from a safety standpoint, this is uh, a huge advantage. So a couple of points that I just wanted to hit and you know make you guys aware of are, this machine is actually a two speed machine. So it has a high and low range in the gearbox. Um, right here on the side, you see the up and down right there. You can change from high obviously is up and low is on the bottom. You can range from anywhere from 100 RPMs to 500 RPMs. And you might ask, why do I need different speeds? Uh, different hardness and material require different speed to cut or drill through. Also, this machine has forward, forward and reverse on the motor. You can see right here, we got clockwise, so we have forward. And we have counterclockwise. And you might ask yourself, why do I need that? Well, the advantage of having that is you could actually use this machine to tap. So if you drill a hole, and you can power tap something. You can run it in and run it back out. So that's a, another huge, huge advantage. Um, this machine is, the, the motor up here is a, a 15 amp motor, so plenty of beef there. You can run up to a two and a half inch diameter uh, bit, and they have a two piece bit that you can actually go, you can plunge three inches thick. So it, it has the 15 amp motor to turn that, which it's quite capable of doing. Um, total weight on this guy is about 40 pounds. It's a little on the heavy side. Um, a lot of it, I think, is because of the rare earth magnets. They're a little bit heavy, but 40 pounds is really not that much compared to some of these other um, bigger mag base drills out there. So um, what else do we got? As you can see, it has a coolant tank on it, which is integrated right into the cutting head. It has a nice handle on the back. All right, you can pop that chuck out and put a standard chuck in there and run up to a half inch, um, half inch drill bit. Once you go a half inch, a lot of them start to step anyway. So a half inch shank. Um, there are no exposed wires. They're all internal. You can see them coming out of the back of the machine right there. But what that leads, you know, a lot of times they catch, snag, whatever on stuff. So uh, long story short, if you guys want to check this out and want to see this or want to see a demonstration, reach out to us. I'm going to set the camera up here and shoot a, you know, a hands-on clip of one, how these bases work and how you can pivot it and also how it, you know, how it, how it works cutting through a piece of uh, pipe like this. Some heavy wall pipe right there. So and once again, Walder also sells their cutters. 
This is one of their annular cutters. This is a carbide tip cutter from them and it is a quality carbide cutter. <laughs> quality carbide cutter, I like that. Anyway, all right, let's shoot the, uh, let's shoot some, some actual shots of me using this. Okay guys, what I wanna show you is basically how easy these magnets are to use. Each magnet operates individually. You have an on and off switch. On the side here, you have a release tab, which is the silver one here. And you can push that in, turn that lever, and that magnet is now off. So if I wanna pivot this to clean out the bird nest, to check my hole, you know, this drill will hang just like this. The pipe's not too secure on the bench, so I don't want to let it go. I have a, one clamp on the other end. Um, so to put it back up, simply set her down. This handle turns clockwise, and it is locked in fully 100%. So that's that. They're on and off. It's nice to be able to, it's easy to use, simple, simple to use. Um, your chuck here in front of it, so you don't have a bird nest of wires flying around everywhere, or, or steel flying around everywhere. You can slide this down, and as you drop your, as you drop your press down, it protects everything and doesn't let it fly. Now, if you get in there to line it up prior, you simply do that. So, I'm gonna let this up for demonstration purposes, just so you guys can see what's going on here. Um, on the side here, which I think I showed you before, there's a high and low setting. Since this is just a mild steel pipe. I'm gonna run on the higher side of the RPMs. I don't need any cutting fluid right now because one, I'm using a carbide cutter. It doesn't hurt, but um, a carbide cutter is quite capable of not taking on any damage and cutting mild steel. Uh, so I don't need any fluid. On the upper side of this motor is a, just a dial. And this will give you your RPMs. This is your gearbox on the side here, but this is your RPMs up here. So let's turn this on. I'm gonna turn it on so it spins to the right, obviously, because I'm cutting. And there you can hear the motor change its RPM. So turn it off. I was looking for the slug. Oh, oh, there's the slug. And the slug, it's cool to the touch. Um, that is the Walter Ice Cut 250P. The P gives you this base. If you're interested in just this drill, but don't need it for pipe, it's a little bit less expensive and it just has the regular mag electromagnetic base. So, the one other thing that I forgot to mention was on the back side, on the back side here, while you're drilling, just like the, if you check out the ice cut mini video that we made, there is an amp load meter. So you want it to, you want it to maintain green LEDs. If you get into yellow, it's telling you to back off. If you stay into red too long, it'll actually shut the motor down as a protective measure. So just to show you that real quick. That's that. And then the red light here is obviously showing that we have input power. Sorry, it went right past it. We have input power. Now it's off but the magnets are still on, which is cool. So, comes in a nice carrying case, comes with, like I said, the regular arbor, or the regular uh, chuck to run a standard twist drill bit. Comes with a safety strap, Allen wrenches, everything you need to get started. You just have to uh, determine what cutters you wanna use, whether you wanna use carbide, um, high-speed tool steel. There's some that have some coatings on them, so anyway. 
Check it out. Thanks for watching. And once again, this is the Walter Ice Cut 250P available at Dyco in Harrisburg. Call us if you want a demo. Thank you.